I've really never had a follow-up before, so here goes nothing. <laughs> As everyone knows, I'm not much of a talker, so I'm trying to keep this short and sweet. When Dave asked me to be his best man, I couldn't say no. He's a brother like I never had, and a sister I never wanted to share about. <laughs> Dave and I have been through a lot together over the years. Some good, some bad, some a little weird. But if given a chance, I would do it all over again. From hanging out in his front driveway being delinquents, yes, Miss Pascarelli, you were right. We should have been inside. <laughs> to our snowboarding vacations, to slanging Christmas trees, to seeing him date, well, I won't get into that, but I will just say thank you, Melissa, and all the way to watching him become a great dad. Dave is loyal and loves like only a father could. Even though we all knew something wasn't right when he went out drunk one night and woke up a father. <laughs> Although he was confused how this happened, he manned up and decided to do the right thing and be the best dad that he could. When most men and women would have tried to run or even give it back, Dave cleaned up the poop dealt with the obvious problems, and loved soup like he was a normal, healthy pickle. I know, I know. Once again, I'm not much of a talker, so try to keep it down, please. Before I go any further and I forget, I want to talk about a piece of per perfection over the years that we call the perfect poof. Wolverine! For those who don't know the perfect poof, I'm talking about Dave's wonderful head of hair. If you've never noticed this hair, it's like a piece of art. Never out of place, always looks good, and has character. Over the years, the perfect poof, poof has become a masterpiece. Thank God the Yale House used to give us free visors because the combination of that and a high-powered blow dryer is the reason we are sitting here today. You know it's true, Melissa. I never thought Dave could love anyone more than he does his truck. I remember asking Dave, hey, you want to hang out tonight? Most of the time his reply would be, of course, but I need a couple hours because i got to detail my truck so it looks good. I'm proud to say that I am the one who introduced Dave to Melissa. I knew the minute he shook her hand, Mr. Regular Casanova over here, that there would be many handshakes to follow. They spoke for a while, they laughed, they smiled, they had a couple awkward silences, but at the end, you could tell Dave knew he had found someone special. When Melissa had hugged Dave goodbye that day, Dave seemed smitten. It was like he couldn't even handle his emotions. He was watching her leave, and I thought he was doing his best Snoop impression. He was elated and couldn't wait to see her again. Dave, being the sweet, shy guy, not too aggressive, went home that night, gave himself a handshake, and dreamt about the next time he would see this woman we call Yona. between Dave and his poof, I mean, his truck, I, I mean, Melissa. <laughs> Love doesn't always come easy, and I think everyone can agree that we've all made our fair share of mistakes. <coughs> Steve Klein, man, it is cold Colorado. All right, all right, with all joking aside, Dave, you are one of my oh best my friends. God. I'm honored to be up here with you today, and you're the luckiest man in the world. Although I'm jealous that Emma already has more hair than I do, you have created a beautiful family. Awesome. Everyone now, please raise your glass to wish this beautiful couple love, yeah. help, and happiness. Yeah. Hi. Yeah. 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 Yeah.